Hoity toity 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 toity. Couple of whispers going around, friends and fans. Raptor, why you no do 1v1s? Well, you've asked for it. Now you got it, baby. It's Gull. It's 1v1. It's KBL405 on the side of NATO versus Raptor on the side of Pact. He's chosen the deck that he calls the Big Lebowski. So we'll see what the big fuss is all about for that. Hello once again, friends and fans. Nice to have you here. Raptor here, of course. And 1v1 on the call. And it's Airland Battle. What more could you ask for? I'm going to be bringing that cornucopia of pain as I pay up. Well, pay homage to my heritage, as I am the Polish. I am actually part German and part Polish. Holla! So, uh, anyway, it's a love-hate relationship in terms of I love to hate. But haters gonna hate. So let's go through the deck real quick. I don't know if you've seen this or not. I'm not gonna name most of the units. You should know them by now if you've been watching a lot of these videos. And if you're enjoying this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend. I'm really looking forward to using that uh, BM-21. I've actually used the uh, Herbert the Pervert here. The <laughs> That's what we're calling it. Um, I, I haven't gotten the infrared missiles to fire yet, so I don't know what's going on there. Of course, Conkers and a few of the airplanes there. We did uh, review most of the deck, but we've got a lot of points to spend, and hopefully over our enemy we will bend. Oh, you see what you, you see what I did there? Okay. So anyway, it's nice to have you guys here. It's been a while since we've done like a 1v1. We've uh, been mostly with the Rat Pack most of the time. Shout out to all those Rat Pack members, Rat Pack fans, everyone else. It's a good time. So we specialize mostly in infantry here. We've got our, uh, we've got our, uh, we've got our cherry pie. We've got our stralaza za za za, and of course we've got our Betty Crockers. Uh, those are all, of course, lovely nicknames. And of course, a lot of you Swedes will say, "Hey," or I mean Swedes. I mean uh, Polish people will say, "Hey, hey," or maybe even Swedish people too who speak Polish. Hey, hey, hey. That unit's pronounced, and then you guys will give some crazy. <laughs> crazy way to pronounce it i'm sorry i i do not know the language it is a beautiful language i am certain but uh, this american tongue does not know how to speak it so what i'm going to do here is i'm assuming he's coming with big armor as they usually do on this map and what's important here is actually three areas for me to attack immediately uh, i must defend the city here in dimitri the mountain here in the center, and then of course there's a small town over here to defend the flank. Meanwhile, setting up a small defense here in front of Anna and lining troops up along, especially here, for ATGMs. Because if they come down the road, guess who's going to meet ATGMs? That's right. See, it's a perfect position for it. Not to mention putting recon in the city. This city is important to take as well because if airborne infantry get down here, they can walk right into the town of Dimitri, and we don't want that to happen. So what I am going to do is I'm going to bring a lot of AA to spread out on the left side, and I'm going to bring out some more ATGMs on the left side as well. Not the Conkers. Uh, well, actually, the Conkers range is better uh, than the uh, shoulder-launched units, so we are actually going to call a few of those out. Now, you can guarantee that he will be calling out aircraft as well, and a lot of players now are doing this uh, quick, strike, quick Strike Nighthawk, and that is uh, quite devastating to, uh, to uh, yours truly because... Let's see here. Because it can basically just show up and then disappear, and then all you see is all your units on fire. And you definitely don't want that to happen. So we're going to actually get... Uh, I, I seem very unorganized here. I guess I am a little more unorganized when I'm doing the commentaries. But we're going to get these out quickly, three of these, and just in time we should have enough. I'll be bringing up Recon a little later since most importantly is just getting the positions. So go ahead and uh, tell a friend again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I must emphasize that because it's very important to keep more of this great content coming that you all love so much all right so anyway um this is just my play style of course i do have recon here and uh each time i play is a little different and each deck i play is a little different slightly tweaked according to what patches are out and bad news everyone the game has been delayed unfortunately for a uh seems like an extra week um Go ahead and, uh, let's see. Go ahead and stop one of these units here. Okay, good. I was just looking over all of our units that we have coming out. I definitely want to make sure I get some units up top of the hill. And there we go. Now it's going to be very important to get over to that city to the right as well, but I'm going to do that as soon as center is a little more secure. In fact, I'm going to have uh, my troops kind of cut across right here. It's not a bad idea to bring your units out uh, down this way first, too, because they can secure this farm here to the left if you need to. But I'd say uh, at least put ATGMs there on the left side. 
Okay, most of our units are arriving. You don't want anything to stand still for too long. You're just asking for trouble. In fact, that was probably a mo bad move for yours truly, but we are going to get uh, some of our ATGMs in place and spread out our troops as well. And there we go. All right, now we have our enemy going exactly where we thought he would with his uh, with his flank maneuver. However, it's with pirates, so that's gone. Au revoir, bitch. All right, so we've got conquerors moving up, or rather moving back. Looks like he's got more pirates in. Jack Sparrow, damn it, you. Get out of here. Alouette, alouette. What's up with all this crap? Oh, he's taking the hill. Okay. So let's go ahead and take out the rest of what he's got then. We'll send these topaz up to deal with the French infantry. That's more than likely up there. And we'll send up some trucks to supply them as well. Meanwhile, we'll push our recon forward on the left just to see what's going on at Elena. And we'll spread out some of our Strelazazazas. He's got some more pirate booties out. He's just getting ate up. Man, he's dropping infantry everywhere. But yours truly is getting most of the points with the uh, targeting of it. Where's all of his counter aircraft? I thought we'd see something on the field by now. Oh, he's fleeing. Oh, there's a hit. Okay. Oh, okay, that's gone. All right, tied. Uh, pretty much tied up now because of that. That move. But I'm not going to spend too much time just engaging infantry. In fact, I'm just going to pull out of there. Uh, it's good to kill the transports, but no need to. Uh, to kill the infantry if they're just in horrible positions, his his uh, idea, I guess, is to take the, the town or something. But I don't I don't know exactly what he's trying to pull. Anyway, we have reservists. Are those Canadians? No, nope, French reservists. They're going to be done. He is probably going to call in some type of bomb. So you want to spread that infantry out. Stars of the show are now arriving. Want to keep an eye on the left side too. Make sure we're hidden and. Observing and reporting. All right. Reservists are finishing them off quite quickly. Or rather, the uh, other way around. Betty Crackers are taking out those reservists, no problem. Uh, possible flank maneuver here all the way to Anna, but we're kind of keeping on the lookout for that. In fact, uh, we'll put our recon unit just up here now. Pirates are coming in. Strelazazaza will move up. These units should be quickly refilled, but we'll move the uh, more damaged one to the rear. And we'll move our flank to the left, kind of avoiding the city, which might, ha might have troops in it, but the likelihood of them leaving is low. Amex Hot's now approaching on the left side, and that's probably going to be tanks right behind. It looks like Vabs, so they're going to storm the city on the left, so it's now time for some backup dog. So, uh, so that ATGMs are going to fire at the... Uh, the oh, and there comes artillery on the center hill. Probably won't do much damage there. Highly inaccurate. A couple troops killed, but no big deal. Uh, they're already refilling to full strength. So it looks like he's bringing in a lot of ATGMs on the left side. Which means that we're going to drop a couple bombs. Pirates are in, in range here. He's going to artillery again, just watch. Let's see. And we'll just spread out because here comes the artillery. Just watch, here it comes. Here it comes. Maybe not because his pirates are so close. Maybe he thinks they'll be able to do the job, but they do have a 20 millimeter cannon on them, which is nice, but it's not really going to do much with the troops in the woods. So we could have unloaded these troops a long time ago. No need to capture center since there's not really a, d a threat from this position yet. And let's see. Well, we are ahead, by the way, with 120, but that's really not too much of a lead, and there comes the artillery. Well, pretty close to our old position. I don't think it'll hit any. Oh, stun. Okay, so we didn't even lose a guy there. So the pirates are going to pull out, and uh, well, our next good move would be to scout. Uh, I want to go all the way around and attack Fedor, but it may be impossible because of the uh, troops that he may have put up there from before. And if I was to peek up there, we might see a little bit of trouble. In the meantime, let's reinforce. There's an alert marker going down somewhere, but hitting spacebar, nothing comes up. So thanks for that. We'll put out some more troops just to make absolutely sure that those troops don't come around again. Okay, Betty Cracker out in the open, losing a few men there. There's got to be some defenses down here. Oh, they're... Oh, come on. Why don't you guys just move out of... 
fire spreads and it's really weird to me when they won't attack it or when they won't move from away from, away from that anyway Pusserds are gonna be gone Stralazazaza is gonna engage this any second Alouette au revoir there it goes all right and then back to the Hussards it's a bro down and it looks like Betty Crocker takes the win 170 to 90 points now. Topaz again are down here for a reason. We're getting engaged on that right side. Ah, that's where he drops some more troops. Let's uh, get some re uh, re resupply over to the uh, troops that have been scraped a little bit. They've only lost two men each. Not going to do much to those Betty Crocker troops in that city. Unfortunately, they're far too busy with their easy oven to uh, even worry about outside artillery. Uh, those are some soundproof walls because Anne could have no effect. So there was probably an attempt to stop reinforcements from coming in from center and also to hinder troop movements back and forth from Anna towards this upper uh, upper plateau where the defensive uh, position may have been. Uh, mostly recon on that. A very cheap but very effective attempt at trying to cut off reinforcements and or hinder movements. Nicely done. Good attempt there. Uh, these troops, of course, since they're panicked by fire, are not going to re rearm themselves anytime soon, unfortunately. But uh, so we're only a few minutes into the battle now. There still could be a lot coming our way. Stralazaza got damaged by artillery, which I didn't notice at the time. Uh, but we'll bring supplies back here, and uh, possible uh, artillery will continue. So it's best to hide most of our units now. Our Stralaza will park over there. AMX-30 spotted now, moving towards the city. And it looks like Roland's as well. Oh, no, actually, uh, the hell are the... Oh, those are the, um, the, oh, uh, God, the, uh, Del Noir, right. Hmm, I think he'll probably be trying to move up to this city. And since I don't know whether or not this area is completely clear, actually, that's not a bad thought since this area is not confirmed to be clear let's move up our topaz to clear the area first and then we can block any troop movements over here of course we have our recon up here and we have troops repairing not to mention conquerors ready to cause a bad fur day to anything that comes down that road now i am playing a little more defensively here but as the polish that that's kind of how you must play you must be sneaky and move through covered areas you can't just roll out with a bunch of t55s and expect to win in fact one amx 40 could take out an entire squad of T-55s. In fact, in this deck, the best I have is the L, which does have an accuracy of 7 and could destroy those Del Noir, but ain't going to do anything against most French tanks. So we must lure them in, and we must destroy them. I thought I heard artillery striking there a second ago, but maybe not. All right, let's drop off these topaz and clear the road. I'm going to have these... Uh... By the way, a lot of a lot of you need to, to remember to pull Topaz and other troop transports away from the infantry after they drop out. These are a couple of points here. You kill two of those, that could be half of the... Po half the uh, it, it actually could add up to the price of one squad. So why give them tons of points if you think you're going to lose? Remember to always pull back with those, uh, with those uh, transport vehicles or even supply vehicles as well. Here I feel like I'm pretty safe, so we're going to pull back from that. Alouette uh, moving up or rather just sitting up there on the hill, so we're going to try to get close to that and kill it. He does see my scout, but I see him as well. They're having a staring contest up on the hill. All right, 10 minutes left to go here. A lot of players in this situation will get antsy and want to attack now. He's slightly behind in points, but this is still within draw territory and is not going to really bode well for either side if he doesn't attack. Now, his Alouette up here is going to be attacked by my infantry soon enough. In fact, let's hope he doesn't see it. But the real threat could be coming from Elena with those AMXs. He could attack on two fronts simultaneously, which would be Elena and Fedor, to, to center or Dimitri. Uh, hold on a second. Supply trucks were captured over here. Oh, okay, so all we gotta do is get him back. How did they get... How did they get up the hill? Oh, come on. All right, that's obnoxious. Jeez. Now, well, we'll, we'll capture those back in a second, but anyway. And it looks like the... A couple of 90s there in the woods, or 190. It's firing fast, whatever the hell it is. Must be like 30 tanks in there. Anyway, let's uh, figure out what's up here. Betty Crocker troops moving in. I thought we were pretty safe. Pirates are moving in across the uh, top of the mountain. Top of the mountain. He's trying to hit most of them with his with his missiles, but Betty Crocker's going to hold firm. We're going to move out a couple of uh, rocket trucks of our own. There's the troops. Reservist right there. How the hell? 
Wow, they moved right past them in the forest. Silly. Anyway, we've got about 1,300 choppers there, which means now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to use these, unfortunately, for him. And that means these uh, pervert perverts are gonna have to move up there. And we'll dump a ton of new troops up there as well. He wants that mountain, but he ain't gonna have it. Sorry, pal. By the way, calling them out here because of uh, if I had ca centered captured, they would try to drive into this city and then up there like derps. Anyway, we did re, re uh, capture our supply trucks there, so that's good. Time to spread out all these troops. Oops, I have to move to uh, display formations. He actually may try to flank all the way around and go back to where we started. Let's try to spread out so we can cover all bases here. Oh, looks like we have a few vehicles moving up the hill. They're going to have to come up where we're standing. Okay, we'll defend the intersection now. And we'll move up our stars of the show. And we will put our AA over here. More Herbert the Perverts arriving, but we will wait on those. Looks like choppers are moving around now. We could call out bombs, and I think we're going to do that now. And he's got more troops coming in. So hopefully our troops are just arriving on the field, which they are. Trilazas should move there, and uh, we're going to have these Topaz come up the hill. About the time they're arriving should be when the battle's about over. I don't know why these uh, units aren't firing yet. I don't know how much of a clear sight you need. These units, by the way, will move automatically into the woods, which really pisses me off because it blocks their line of sight. Like they're not capable units anymore. Anyway, let's clear it out. Herberts are firing finally. Okay, so 540 to 305, unfortunately killing a lot of infantry there, but uh, still taking those out. And by the way, we did uh, napalm this area here, so that should, should very soon get rid of almost everything in that forest. Topaz are moving up. No need for the BM-21s. Topaz are moving up the wrong way, though, but that's fine. Actually, we'll come up behind them right here in the uh, swampy area. In the meantime, looks like we've got more uh, artillery coming in. Those aren't going to do much. We're going to actually pull out of these fiery areas. So we can give our troops a little bit of a break and resupply them. Topaz, we're going to call back just in case there's an attack somewhere else. I think that was his main plan, though, was to attack from there. But didn't look like it boded well for him. So we'll keep our supply trucks back here. And it looks like he's trying to poke us, but not really attack. I mean, calling out 55... Oh, see, that sucks. Your troops will stand and fire and will basically take damage, but will not move. They'll continue to report that they're being attacked and will do. Oh, Super Nintendos. How interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, girl. N64, turn your ass off. Damn, that was sweet. Okay, we're actually going to have to... More bombs being dropped up there. He's uh, really determined to take that hill. But, uh, again, our troops have arrived at the end of the battle, as I thought they would. And we're going to have three of these trucks move back over here. And we'll have a few of our uh, AA move over there. He's not going to be smart enough to move down this road, at least, I don't hope, to attack the AA. Oh, but here comes uh, artillery on the AA, which is already taking the liberty of spreading out. And one unit being heavily damaged, but that's it, so not too bad there. Herberts are going to have to sit out in the open, I hope. Artillery coming in again on them. Okay, time to unload these topaz. We're going to split them up. By the way, this uh, infantry is very elite, so they should be able to hold against anything. At least, except for artillery shells to the face. That, even to an elite Polish soldier, is... Well, they're not going to bode well against that. Alouette coming around the side again. Nice try. However, I can see that. Not too much opportunity to be sneaky sneaky like in uh, air, uh, European Escalation due to the fact that um, the maps are a little narrower this time. Looks like there's VABs up there. We're going to engage those. And actually, we'll have a VAB move down there and finish off whatever's there. Alouette, where to go? I don't know if we got it or not. I'm gonna go ahead and come around again for another pass. I'll let it. I'll let it attack again. 
Looks like there's a million troops there up on the hill, so let's get rid of them. Control Alt Delete. And we'll call our Betty Crockers back. Actually, they're going to get finished off, so no, no problem there. I don't know if this thing is... It's targeting, but not firing. Whatever. Anyway, no big deal if he sees what's over there. Alouette coming in again. BM-21 should kill anything in there, if anything. Pirates are coming back again. Topaz emptying themselves out. <sighs> I'm wondering if artillery will come on that, but I don't think so. Right, so we've got a pretty good defense here. Only two minutes to go. No need to attack. We have a few points ahead of him. Super Nintendo, or rather, en enchiladas, I should say. Super, Super Enitard is Super Nintendo. This is just the NES, so only 55 points here. Polish missiles flying with pride. I think actually he's going for the, uh... He may have been going for the artillery. Yes, he did. Too late to move him. No big deal, though. Just a couple hundred. Uh, definitely wasn't worth it, though. All those planes that he lost on that attack... By the way, these trucks not even scathed by that. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, so he did get a hit on the BM-21s with one bomb, taking those out. But uh, BM-21s just suck. I mean, they can barely take out infantry. That's something that needs to be updated a little bit. I think uh, they should be able to stun tanks and instantly kill infantry. I mean, I get scared when somebody fires a firecracker off in front of my face, let alone 23-millimeter uh, mortars or whatever the hell they launch. Anyway, another chopper down. Stray Lazazas are getting hit. Oh wow, they're out of missiles now. A lot of the swamp absorbing the impact, I, I guess. Uh, these seem to be fully rearmed, so we'll move back over to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Alright, so um, I'm actually going to move these uh, back down here just so we can deny points for the last couple minutes. Uh, by the way, that is a good tactic. In the last few minutes of gameplay, if you've got a nice lead on your enemy like I do, 520 to 815, go ahead and just pull back. If they're firing artillery because they're desperate, just go ahead and pull back if you can. Like up here, no need to do that because, again, he's not he's not damaging too much. I mean, he is damaging things, but it's going to be, he's going to at least get 50 points at the very most. That's like on a bad, bad day for me, and it's just not going to happen. In fact, what's going to kill your troops most is damn fire. Fire Mountain. That is the name of this map. Fire Mountain 1v1. Mountains, fire, and you is, I guess, what we've learned here today. Especially since I dropped napalm over here. It probably even, I pro it's probably my own napalm, killing myself with that. Look at this kind of, it, it actually looks like rocket artillery. Anyway, Topaz are in, in range now, 45 of those. There will be one more missile strike over here before, uh, now that he sees all these troops advancing. So what we're going to do is we're going to GTA motherfucker. And what we're going to do is let those Legion just come on in, bro. Ain't no big deal. We're going to roll away in our Topaz. Here comes the artillery. And you'll see it in a couple seconds. What? He blew up our ride. Okay, that's it. We're blowing down now. I was going to leave, dude. But now you now you asked for it. Here comes the artillery. And there it is. And guess what? It'll land right there. And I'm going to go ahead and call shocking on that. Shocking. What? I totally didn't predict that at all. What? Anyway, this probably will kill a couple troops if there is a direct hit. Which there's not. He must have thought there was tons more in the back, but with three seconds to go, here comes the pirates, and unfortunately, Jack Sparrow, the rum is gone. Where is all the rum gone? You figured out yourself. So, anyway, a major victory against KBL405. There's your 1v1. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for joining me for this 23 minute and something odd seconds of fun. And until next time, friends and fans, this is Raptor. What was that game to? Well, it was up to, oh, geez, I don't know, 3,000 points. <laughs> we barely cracked 1,000. So, this is Raptor for KBL405 saying we'll see you. Bye. Au revoir. Well, hello once again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to War Game Air Land Battle. I'm going to look over some stats here. A lot of you always been saying, Raptor, what? You, well, how come you never post losses? You ne There's never losses. What? Well, that's because we don't often lose.